Hello and welcome to Ant Mini TV. My name is Brian Casey. I'm editor-in-chief of AntMini.com and we're here at the 2006 edition of the Radiological Society of North America meeting in Chicago. Right now we're going to be hearing about research on the use of cardiac MRI to find signs of heart disease in aging athletes without any symptoms. Ready? You're as old as your arteries. Now there are these men out there who, especially when they approach midlife crisis or a little beyond that, then they start to try hard to rejuvenile. That is very difficult, but uh, what they do is they go out there, put on their running tracks and uh, start running and exercising. But exercising is actually a problem. It's a two-edged sword. And the paradox of exercise is a term that has been coined by Barry Marin from Minneapolis. And it actually states that very vigorous physical exertion increases the short, it increases the short-term risk of sudden coronary death, especially in those couch potatoes that never get out moving. But then, simultaneously, if you do exercise regularly, then exercise offers long-term protection from the risk. And don't get me wrong on this, this is important. Exercise is the best thing you can do in your life. It improves quality of life, it reduces mortality, and then it improves longevity. And uh, so, the key message is first, running is a good thing. Don't get me wrong on this, today we're discussing only the very extreme forms of running, which is marathon running. So nothing else, and that in master marathon runners. And uh, so some of these master marathon runners, and I'm going to get back to that, may be at a higher than expected risk, especially if there's a positive family history of cardiac events, previous smoking, etc. I'm going to discuss this with you. That's Dr. Stefan Mullenkamp, a cardiologist at University Hospital at Munich University in Germany. Dr. Mullenkamp's group wanted to see if they could use MRI to screen healthy male marathon runners over the age of 50 to identify cardiovascular disease before either symptoms or a cardiac event occurred. As one example of the problem, they presented the case of an older marathon runner who joined the group's study and was examined several days after running a marathon. They were surprised to see this ECG study, which demonstrates signs of asymptomatic myocardial infarction. This electron beam CT study of the same patient shows chunks of calcium in the left main coronary artery. After referring the patient to the cardiac cath lab, they found he had three-vessel cardiac disease, and he received coronary artery bypass graft surgery. The patient has recovered and has now taken up Nordic walking. In total, the group scanned 110 male volunteers between the ages of 50 and 72, all of whom had completed at least five marathons in the last three years. The volunteers were asymptomatic and had no known history of heart disease or diabetes. The group collected a series of cardiac MRI scans, such as this clip of an older endurance athlete. The scans indicated that although cardiac chambers weren't larger in the runners than in normal patients, their left ventricular mass was significantly higher. The marathon runners had an average LVM weight of 141 grams, compared to a weight of 77.5 grams in normal patients. The researchers then measured their patient cohort for factors that could indicate a risk of future heart attack, such as body mass index and cholesterol levels. They found that their population had a 51% lower risk score than the general population. However, they also found that 36% of their marathon runners had a coronary artery calcium score above 100, which is considered the threshold value for increased coronary risk. When the researchers compared their runners to a control population of the same age and with the same risk factors, they found that the runners still had a considerably higher calcium burden. Indeed, the runners who had the highest levels of heart muscle mass typically had the highest calcium burden. The authors concluded by stating that cardiac MRI is useful in assessing changes in cardiac volumes and myocardial mass in marathon runners. Changes in myocardial mass don't always represent adaptation to endurance exercise. They may also indicate atherosclerotic plaque burden. Cardiac MRI can be used to distinguish changes related to exercise from cardiac disease in older marathon runners, they said. The group plans to conduct future research into whether cardiac MRI can be used to help determine how to screen older marathon runners who might be at risk for heart disease. So at this stage, really, this is an issue of awareness, both on the sides of the patient, or the, they're not yet patients, on the side of the runners and the physicians alike. And it's a question of early identification. How can we stratify risk? How can we detect risk or, um, before an event has occurred? 